Welcome back to The Hill. Should an artificial intelligence chatbot be allowed to govern? One librarian in Cheyenne, Wyoming, thinks they should and got an AI chatbot on the primary ballot as a mayoral candidate this year. The AI bot named Vic, which I think we can all agree is a great name, is short for Virtual Integrated Citizen, and it was created as a way to let artificial intelligence run the local government. The AI chatbot lost the election this go around, but it is a first for any U.S. political campaign, and questions about the use of AI and the applications will become a role and an issue in future elections. Victor Miller is this man. He filed the customized chatbot to run for mayor in Wyoming, and he joins us now. Victor, thanks very much for joining us. I think we're all fascinated by this, I guess I would call it an experiment that you ran. I understand you came in fourth in the primary, or the chatbot did. Maybe you can un untangle that for me. Uh, but you lost the mayoral race. You've brought the issue as an AI, of AI as a tool to govern front and center. You say there's a revolution starting. How so? Well, first of all, thank you for having me on your program. Very excited to be here. I've uh, become quite passionate about this project of mine, and I think it really is something that can help democracy and help the citizens and have uh, government be more responsive to their needs. And although I did not win the mayoral race, um, uh -huh. you know, the, these models are as dumb as they'll ever be. They get smarter daily. Um, I'm always amazed by the progress and how fast it happens. And so yeah. if there was one of me this time around, um, you know, how many are, of there, are there going to be two years from now? And then, you know, as you project okay. forward, what does this do to governance? Right. Okay. So use the word democracy. I think that's from the ancient Greek, if I remember my, my uh, political science 101 <laughs> pro properly, and it translates to the people shall rule. A chatbot is not a person. What's lost by having an AI program uh, conduct government functions? I mean, isn't it all about give and take among citizens? Well, you know, I'm on the other side of the coin, so I turn that on its head and I say, what is lost by having these people in there? A big news story uh, this week in Wyoming is that a mayor got kind of hot mic and after leaving a message with a constituent, uh, thought they hung up and didn't, and went rambling on about no one's going to read this stupid complaint from this citizen. And, you know, so we have all these psychological and sociological things that hamper us from getting responsive um, action taken by our government. And a way to alleviate that is to utilize this new okay. intelligence that's on the scene. But, I mean, yeah, but gaffes like the one you described from that one candidate, that's part of what voters are supposed to take into account, and abil uh, the ability to maintain discipline, the ability to stay on message, the ability to convince people through logic and reason or emotion, whatever the case may be. Um, so ha by having AI make some of these decisions, aren't you taking the passion out of p the public discourse? <laughs> Well, the more intelligence these models get, they get more emergent qualities. Uh, I think what we're going to discover is that the more things you say that it's lacking right now, I don't think it is lacking, and certainly it won't be as the new rollouts come here in the next year or two. Okay. Well, this is a fascinating subject, and I want to talk to you more about it. Uh, hopefully we can have you back soon. Victor Miller, or maybe, maybe the next uh, election cycle. Victor Miller, thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Certainly. Thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.